One of my most favorite things to work on are SD cards. And today we're working on SD card that was sent from uh, British Columbia, Canada. You can already see that this thing is in really rough state. So let's get into this. As you can see, this card is covered in some sort of liquid. <laughs> and when we flip it over, it's pretty badly corroded. This card comes out from the Reconyx time-lapse camera that was monitoring uh, harbor seals. Uh, the recording was supposed to start in May 2022 and take uh, one photo every 15 minutes or so. The damage most likely occurred over the winter time and uh, there is a lot of research material on there that the client needs to get back. This thing is in pretty rough state as you can tell from the view of the microscope but maybe not all is lost so let's find out how really bad this is we need to crack open the case to get that done Are you ready for this? I was worried about this spot right here. I thought it was a burn mark from like a fired controller, but it's too round to be that. That's just an indication of the corner. Yikes. I would say this is probably the worst liquid damage SD card I have seen, just generally looking at it. And then I would use this uh, fiberglass scratch pan to clean everything up and exp get rid of the mask as well. So what we want to do here is expose uh, the connection of the interface with the rest of the circuit board. But while we add it, we might as well just clean the whole surface up. Because if we have some corroded traces uh, where the technical pads are, some of those may be needed uh, even for the card to operate through just regular SD protocol. Hey, it doesn't look too bad now, does it? So what can we have problems with? Well, maybe we don't even have any issues here. Maybe this thing works all by itself. So let's find out. First of all, let's test our power and ground pins on um, the interface. So we set this up into a diode mode. If we're going to hear this continuous noise, between this pad and this pad and we don't so we're, we're pretty good I bought a card today that would be used for uh, another case but we're gonna borrow the housing from it this is gonna be the donor device for a pin discovery Okay, so I'm just gonna lock this in there. 
Hey, looks brand new, guys. Look at that. Let's uh, plug this in. I want to grab like an extension cord for you guys so you can see. So we have a Transcend USB adapter for SD cards hooked up to a metering device. And then this end goes to extension cord and extension cord goes into deep spar USB stabilizer. We should be getting uh, some pretty good readings on the bottom meter here for the amps when we power on the device right now. So 40 milliamps is a good adequate number for functional SD card. And this is what we get on our menu. So a USB stabilizer is telling us that there is a 14.8 gigabyte device hooked up and that's what I'd like to see. So let's turn on the PC3000 and uh, try to clone this card out. Uh, up here we have our Explorer view. Let's just see if we can clone the card with consistent speed. Yeah, so we're reading at USB 2 uh, speed, 34 megabytes per second. I'm not in a rush. It's a small card. It's going to get it there. Uh, either way, we're at 4% already. So there is our disk. There is our partition. We go into use sector map and build that. The unit only has 2 gigabytes of data on it. And hit scan. So that's going to go and clone uh, everything that is in use by bitmap on this FAT32 uh, partition. Once it's captured, uh, we can start saving those files out because they're not going to be coming back from uh, the card. They're going to be actually coming from uh, the virtual disk file that we're creating right now. I'm surprised, I'm surprised how easy this was <laughs> considering the amount of corrosion and gunk uh, that was with the card. Sometimes we get these cards and they look very clean, but salt water does its work and uh, corrodes uh, those pads and they just get disconnected from the rest of the circuit. All right, so we're done with the imaging. Now we can switch over to working with copy only. There's a DCIM folder and this thing has a bunch of JPEGs. Easy case. Uh, nothing really to it we just cleaned up the interface but that's sometimes will be all that's needed um, I'm happy to share this video with you guys if you dropped your card in the ocean or if it got exposed to other moisture like maybe you forgot about the memory card and you put it in the uh, uh, washing machine with your pants uh, <laughs> this can happen also so my advice is to just uh, as soon as you find out that it's been exposed to some moisture go to like your nearest pharmacy get some 99.9 .9 alcohol and just uh, soak that thing in there for a little bit and then just brush it off and dry it out that's uh, going to prevent uh, further corrosion from taking place quickly dump the data out and you'll be uh, not in the need to reach out to us but if you found out too late and your card had already gone through the rotting process and uh, corrosion had built up so much that it ate away those tracks we can jump those for you and get the data back still if you check out the card in the top right corner i'll include a link to a video where heavier damage to a similar card was done and that it can still be reversed and the data can be still pulled out thank you for watching uh, i'll see you guys in the next episode don't forget to comment like and share this video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe because this channel is all about data recovery and if you're into that kind of stuff uh, this is the place to be thanks very much i'll see you next time